Isolated from the rest of the world, Antarctica has become one of the most mysterious, beautiful and amazing continents on Earth. A huge continent hiding many secrets attracts researchers from all over the world. What discoveries did they make? We will find out in the next three episodes. At the southernmost point of the Earth, you will find Antarctica, a continent that is almost completely covered in ice. Unlike the Arctic, which is an ocean surrounded by land, Antarctica is an ice-covered land surrounded by the Southern Ocean. The area of the continent is about 14,107,000 square kilometers. It is the fifth largest continent, nearly twice the size of Australia, and much larger than either Europe or the US. The continent is divided by the Transantarctic Mountains into Eastern and Western Antarctica. These mountains stretch across the entire continent, with a total length of 3,500 kilometers. East Antarctica makes up the majority of the continent, about two-thirds. To the east there is a high ice-covered plateau. The western part of Antarctica consists of a group of mountainous islands connected by the ice. The highest point of Antarctica is the Vincent Massif, located in West Antarctica at an altitude of 4,987 meters. The lowest point on Earth has been found in eastern Antarctica. The ice-filled canyon lies beneath the Denman Glacier. Its depth is about three and a half kilometers below sea level. Deeper than this crevice are only depressions in the oceans. The Gambertsev Mountains are located in East Antarctica. They are almost the same size as the European Alps. The mountain ranges stretch for 1,200 kilometers long, and the highest known point is 3,390 meters. These mountains are covered with 600 meters of ice and are hidden from view. On this mainland, scientists have discovered more than 100 volcanoes, some of which are located on the offshore islands. One of them, the active volcano Erebus, is located on Ross Island and considered to be the southernmost volcano on Earth. The constant activity of Erebus has been observed since 1972. When the fumarole broke open on Mount Erebus, the hot gas spewed steam that instantly cooled and froze in the air, forming strange-looking towers that reached over 10 meters in height. Beneath Antarctica Minor, researchers at the University of Edinburgh have discovered 91 underwater volcanoes. There is not much data on minerals in this icy desert. However, it is known that under the thickness of snow and ice there are fields of coal, iron ore, precious metals, granite, crystal, nickel, and titanium. In 1973, huge oil reserves were discovered in the Ross Sea, as well as natural gas fields. However, in 1991, an environmental protection protocol to the Antarctic Treaty prohibited any resource extraction in Antarctica until 2048. This allows you to preserve the nature of the continent in its original form, and the removal of such restrictions is fraught with serious consequences for the local ecology. Antarctica is the highest continent in the world, the surface of which is covered with a powerful ice sheet. This is the largest ice sheet on our planet, covering about 98% of the entire continent. The average ice thickness of the Antarctic Shield, according to various researchers, ranges from 1830 to 2160 meters, and the maximum exceeds 4700 meters. In East Antarctica, the ice sheet rests on continental rocks, while in the western part of the mainland, it plunges more than 2500 meters below sea level. The Antarctic ice sheet is not exactly smooth. This is the area of moving ice. Moving glaciers create cracks that can go many hundreds of meters deep. The cracks are often covered with a thin layer of snow, which tricks people into thinking that the ice cover is smooth and continuous. The ice cover of Antarctica contains 90% of all ice on Earth, as well as about 70% of all fresh water in the world. The Antarctic ice sheet is so heavy that the surface of the coldest continent on the planet sank under the weight of the weight of ice and snow, almost 500 meters down. 
The Ross Glacier is considered by far the largest ice shelf in Antarctica, with an area of about 487,000 square kilometers, which is larger than the area of Germany. In 2000, an iceberg known as B-15 broke off the Ross Glacier. With a size of 11,000 square kilometers, it is the world's largest iceberg. It's bigger than all of Jamaica. Researchers believe that if all the ice concentrated in Antarctica completely melts, sea levels on our planet will rise by about 60 meters. As a result of such a cataclysm, many large cities are at risk of being covered under the water, among which are London, New York, St. Petersburg and Sydney. In addition, part of the coastal European countries, such as the Netherlands and Denmark, will also go underwater. Antarctica, the largest desert in the world. It is one and a half times the size of the Sahara. Why is Antarctica a desert? Moisture falling from the sky is used to classify a place as a desert. The annual rainfall is 50 millimeters. Even Sahara receives more precipitation than Antarctica. This makes it the largest desert in the world. Although the continent is full of ice, one of the greatest threats is fire. The environment is very dry and therefore, if a fire breaks out, it will be difficult to stop. On this icy continent, there are the McMurdo Dry Valleys. There has been no precipitation here for more than 2 million years. These are snowless valleys with extremely low levels of humidity. The reason they are so dry is that the mountains that surround the valley prevent glaciers from penetrating. The McMurdo Dry Valleys is a home to the largest sand dune on the continent, at 70 meters high and over 200 meters wide. In the right valley in Victoria Land, in the McMurdo Dry Valleys, the Onyx River flows, which is considered the longest river in Antarctica. Its approximate length is 30 kilometers. In the dry valleys of McMurdo, Blood Falls flows out of the Taylor Glacier. This color is due to the high content of iron oxide in the water. In addition, there is a hypersaline Lake Vida in the dry valleys of McMurdo. It is so salty that its water remains liquid even at minus 13 degrees Celsius. However, this water is under a thick layer of ice. The ice covering the liquid brine, which is seven times salter than sea water, is 21 meters thick. It is believed to be the thickest non-glacial ice on Earth. An ice cap on Lake Vida kept air from contacting hypersaline water for many thousands of years, and has given scientists direct access to ancient DNA, turning the lake into a time capsule. Lake Obersee is located in East Antarctica. It is the largest surface, freshwater lake on the continent. More than 400 lakes have been discovered under the ice of Antarctica. Near the Antarctic station of the same name, under a layer of ice, at a depth of 4 kilometers, there is Lake Vostok. This is the largest freshwater subglacial lake in Antarctica. The estimated area of Lake Vostok is 15 and a half thousand square kilometers, and the average depth is 432 meters. Scientists believe that despite the complete absence of sunlight, and the giant water pressure in the lake, approximately equal to 300 atmospheres, organisms endowed with truly unique properties can live in this reservoir. The technology of drilling and sampling water for research from a depth of more than 3 kilometers remains a serious technical challenge, especially in relation to obtaining clean samples that are not mixed with biological material introduced from outside. So far, in the course of many years of research on ice samples from the subglacial Antarctic Lake Vostok, it is known about the discovery of four new species of bacteria. The scales of the real goldfish were also found. It turned out that it was indeed covered with a thin layer of precious metal. In general, the water in the lake can rightfully be called golden. Spectral analysis of ice samples taken from the lake showed that the content of gold ions in ice and water is almost 80%. The researchers are trying to improve the equipment to be able to draw water directly from the bottom of the lake, where life is expected to be more favorable than in the water column. Scientists believe that most likely, Lake Vostok existed before the icing of the mainland, which means that the descendants of ancient organisms that lived there before isolation can be preserved in it. 
The object is also interesting from the point of view of cosmology, as it is a model of a reservoir, on other planets and their satellites, where life could have originated under the ice. Therefore, Lake Vostok is under the scrutiny of researchers, and is of great scientific importance for the whole world.